How are you? Number eight. Now, yes. How are you? I can listen to you, teacher. Lupe. Microphone, teacher. Oh, my microphone is on. It's supposed to be working. It's not working. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yes. No. Oh, so teacher. No, I go can you hear me? Yes. Now yes, teacher. Now yes, you can hear. Me. I can hear you. You can hear me or you can't hear. Me? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Me, yes. <laughs> okay. Nice. Because I was wondering, hey, the microphone is broken. Okay, good evening, everyone. Welcome on board. How are you doing? Very uh, good. The ladies I'm is fine. Okay. Yes, you're fine. Yes. <laughs> nice. Okay. I'm going to share the screen. Let's be sharing the screen. Good evening, everyone. Today is August 10th. Uh, tonight, we're going to be working on family. We're going to be discussing family tonight, okay? In the agenda tonight, we have reading Christina Aguilera, asking about family, present continuous, and I come from a big family, okay? So the purpose is, like I said before, to discuss information about family. Do you remember what we studied yesterday? What's something that we studied yesterday? An invitation. Uh -huh, we were making invitations, okay. Excellent. What else? Offerings, right? We were offering food, offering other things. Like, would you like a sandwich? I'm hungry. Would you like a sandwich? A sandwich sounds good to me, right? Okay, so, oh yes, please. Yes, please. Okay, excellent. Now, I want you to look at this picture. The purpose is to discuss family. Do you prefer a small or a large family? And uh, what is a small or what is a large family? Lolita, in your opinion, what's a big family? Mm, the family have um, 10, uh, 11 child, child. Uh -huh. With for 10, me it's big family. It's a big mm -hmm. family, yes. Mm -hmm. right. With 10 or 11 children is a big family, okay. A small family is five or six. 
Five or Member, four. Miembros de la familia, teacher. Members of the family. Members of the family. Children. Five or six. Not three children. children. Three, three children. Uh -huh. Three children would be a small family. Okay. For me, yes. Of course. Okay. And how many children do you have? No have. No have children. No children. And how many children do you want for the future? Mm. Maybe one. Maybe one. Okay. Maybe. Yeah, most people say no, only one. Okay. Only one. All right. Excellent. And you, Gladys, how many children do you want in the future? Excuse me, teacher. How many children do you expect to have in the future? Ay, le oigo cortado, pero ¿cuántos son en mi familia o cuántos? No. ¿Qué? How many children do you want in your family? ¿Cuántos niños hay aquí en mi familia? No. You. <laughs> Do you want? Mios. Mm -hmm. um, two children. You have two children. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Children are beautiful. Yes. And you, Daniel, how many mm -hmm. children do you have? Me too, teacher. Two children. Right now, right now, right now, you have two children. Yes. Or in the future, you want two children? No, in the present. Oh, in the present. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. Nice. Children are beautiful, right? So, what are the benefits of having a small family? What is good? What is good about having a small family? What are the advantages? I believe uh, a small family um, uh, is more more easy to give a good time to uh, the child on in uh, los esposos, uh -huh. wife and, and, and husband yes. uh, many times together. Mm -hmm. yeah. yes. And in and, and, and this moment. Uh, when the economy, ec economia, yeah. la economia is, yeah. is, is very difficult, uh, is better the small family. Mm -hmm. But I, I really, I want to, to be a great, great family, and many children, but I have two sons and they are uh, Mar Maria and um, they are not live with us. They are not living with you anymore. No. I imagine you miss them. <laughs> yes. Right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you for sharing, Olguita. Thank you very much. Okay, great. Okay. Let's see. How about Don Roberto? How are you? Hi, teacher. How Good many evening. Do you have, my friend? Good evening. Well, I have three child, two boys and a girl. <laughs> okay. So, do you consider your family big or small? Well, I think my family is big because I was a, an only child. Oh, okay. And I live with my mom mm -hmm. only. I understand. Okay. Yeah. I think my family is big because I I don't have a brother or sisters. Uh -huh. And it's wonderful to have. Uh, oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What are the benefits of having a small family? Well, teacher, I think if, uh, a small family can live in a uh, small small house. Uh huh they can save money because they 
don't have to buy a lot of uh, supplies in the house. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yes, that's true. If the house is small, okay, uh, you cannot have many children. Or if you have only two children, you can live in a small house. Uh -huh. That is an advantage. That's true. And also you spend less money on food, right? And also for education, you can pay more for every child. But if you have five children, you have to pay less or you need to pay less for every child. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent, very good. So those are the benefits of having a small family, okay? Veronica, do you have any children? Yes, I have three children, two boys and one daughter. Oh. And my family is big. It's, um, it's beautiful, it's hard, and sometimes difficult. Mm -hmm. um, um, I'm happy. I'm happy to spend time with them. Uh -huh. Yes. Only. Uh -huh, that's true. Okay. Thank you for sharing. Thank you very much. And you, Karen, welcome back. We missed you yesterday. <laughs> okay. Yes, it's a. Uh, I just started, I don't study in the class because my my health. For my salud. Oh, you were sick. Yeah. Somebody told yeah. me you were sick. That's yes. True. I feel a little good. <laughs> now, okay. Nice. I'm happy to, to have you in class. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And you, how many children do you have, Karen? Yes, I have two children, two, uh, children. two boys. Uh, in my case, I consider the family, the small family is, is good, but for the education, for the house, the ho actually the house is very, very small. Yeah, that's uh, Yeah. Houses are, they make the houses only for four people. Yeah. The, the father and the Only mother. four people. Mm -hmm. That's true. Okay, well, but it's, it's nice that you have two boys, okay? Thank you for sharing. How about Jamilet? How many children do you want in the future? Good evening. Good evening. Um, I don't have children. Um, I don't like too much. <laughs> <laughs> They are children. Uh, uh, I have two sisters and one brother. Uh, and my father, my mom, but no children. Do you think that in the future you're mm, going to have two or three children? No, one. <laughs> no more. No more. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, children are, are beautiful and children are a blessing too, right? Children are a blessing. Yes. Too, so. But only one, well, that's okay. <laughs> Make the population too big. Okay. <laughs> yes. Thank you for sharing. Thank you very much. Okay. okay. How about you, Jennifer? How many children do you have? Uh, good evening. Good evening. Um, I don't have children. For the moment, you don't have any children. Mm -hmm. And how no. many do you want? Excuse me? How many do you want? Um, um, I don't have children. Mm -hmm. I don't. 
and the other is how many do you want? Okay, I'm going to write the word here. How many do you want? Uh, mm. You don't want children? Uh, mm. Ah, you said no, right? <laughs> no, no, no le comprendí, la verdad. Okay. How many children would you like to have? How many uh, children would you like? In the future, of course. Ah. <laughs> eh, mm, one children. Only one child? Okay. Yeah, maybe. Maybe one child. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. How about Marlon? How many children do you have, Marlon? I saw Marlon, but... Okay. Well, Rolando, how many children do you have? Rolando Rigoberto. Hi, good evening. Good evening. How are you? How many children do you have? I am fine. Okay. Excellent. Rolando, how many children do you have? Uh, okay, I will say it slowly. How, how many children? Do you uh, want? I, I want. Uh -huh. How many children do you want for the future? Or do you have children? Uh -huh. Yes, if you have children. Um, I have, I have uh, children one. You have one child. So you have one, okay, nice. And how many more do you want? How many more do you want? Uh, no more children. Mm -hmm. In the future, no more children. Uh, in the future, no more children. Uh. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah, all right. Thank you. Don't worry, don't worry, Rolando. That's it. The, the idea is to practice listening so that you understand. Okay. That's the idea. Okay. Thank you very much for sharing. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. Let's continue. Tonight, we're going to be working on reading Cristina Aguilera. The purpose is to discuss favorite musicians. Now, Cristina Aguilera is not my favorite musician, but she appears in the program. <laughs> okay. Do you know Cristina Aguilera? Yes. Do you yes. like? Yes, I do. Yes. Do you like Cristina Aguilera? Yes. I like her voice. You like her voice? No, I don't her. Oh, okay. What songs do you know? What songs do by Cristina Aguilera do you know? Uh, a genius in a bottle, un genio en la botella, algo así. A like that. <laughs> genius in a bottle. Uh -huh. Yes, I think it's one of the most famous. Genius in the bottle. Another one? Disney and movies. Uh -huh. She appeared in a movie, right? Yes. Okay, so no other song. Solamente tú. <laughs> That's another song or 
only the, the song that you mentioned. Solamente tú es the es, is the name. Ah, the a, song. Song. Ah, uh -huh. I, I thought you said solamente tú canciones tú. <laughs> okay. <laughs> only songs. Okay. So that's good. All right. Let's see. Cristina Aguilera, born December 18th, 1980 in New York, USA. Scan the article and look at the pictures. In what year did each event take place? So far, she has multiple hit singles. She has fans of all ages around the world. And many people say she's the best singer of her generation. She is Cristina Aguilera. Here are some highlights of Christina, Christina's life and career. In 1980, 1980, Christina is born on December 18th in New York. In 1988, Christina first appears on television in Star Search, a television talent show. In 1992, Christina is on TV in Disney's new Mickey Mouse Club with Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake. In 1994, Christina records All I Wanna Do with Keizo Nakanishi, a Japanese pop star, uh, she tours Japan. In 1998, Christina sings a song for the Disney movie Mulan. In 1999, Christina has her first big hit, Genie in a Bottle. In 2001, along with other singers, Christina records Lady Mermaid for the movie Moulin Rouge. Okay, the Moulin Rouge. Uh, in 2002, Christina performs at the closing ceremonies for the Winter Olympic Games in Salt Lake City, Utah. In 2004, Christina wins the best female pop vocal Grammy Award for Beautiful, the song Beautiful. Overall, Christina Aguilera is thrilled by her success. It's been quite a roller coaster. Let me see. Okay, it's been quite a roller coaster ride. She laughs. I simply love my job. So do all Christina's fans. Okay, very good. Now, we're going to have uh, people read it. Okay, volunteers to read. Who would like to read uh, the first part? Okay, Don Roberto, go ahead, please. Okay, teacher. Cristina Aguilera, born December 18, 1980 in New York, USA. Scan the article and look at the picture. In what year did each event take place? So far, she has multiple hit singles. She has fans of all age around the world. And many people say she's the best singer of her generation. She is Cristina Aguilera. Here are some highlights of Christina life and career. Okay, thank you very much. Now, who would like to read this one? Okay, I have three people volunteering. Okay, Gloria, uh -huh. we have Glorita and Karen. So, and we also have Daniel and Miledis. So, right now I need two people, so, we're going to have Glorita and Karen for this part. Okay, so we have like this. One is going to, let's see, I'm going to put a mark here. You see? Now, in this mark, that's where one person is going to stop here.
So I would like, um, let me see Glorita to begin this like this. To read this, please read them in twos, 1980. 80. 1980. 1980. Christina is born on December 18 in New York. 1988, Christina first appears on television in Star Shares, a television talent show. 1992, Christina is on TV in Disney's new Mickey Mouse Club with Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake. 1994, Christina records All I Wanna Do with Kenzo Nakans. Nakanashi, a Japanese pop star, Chitur Japan. 1998, Christina sings a song for the Disney movie Mulan. Excellent, very good. Now, thank you very much. Now, Karen. In 1998, Christina sings a song for the Disney movie Mulan. In 1999, Christina has her first big hit, Jenny in the Water. In 2001, along with another singer, Christina Record Lady, uh, Mar Marmel for the movie Mulan George. Uh -huh. Mulan Rouge. Mulan Rouge. Mulan Rouge. Uh -huh. uh, uh, to 2002, 2002, 2002, Christina performed at the closing ceremony for the Winter Olympic Games in Salt Lake City, Utah. In 2004, Christina wins the best female of vocal Grammy Award for the beautiful. Uh, for beautiful. Okay. Thank you very much. That's nice. Okay, now one more person, uh, Daniel, right? Daniel, would you please read this part? Okay, teacher. Um, overall, Christina Aguilera is thrilled be her success. It's been quite a roller coaster ride. She loves, I simply love my job. So do all Christina fans. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Before we continue, we have these two words. Okay. As a verb, we say record, record. But as a noun, record. Record. Okay, the Guinness, maybe you remember the Guinness record, right? And record, record is you record a song. When you record a song, you play, play the song, okay? And then you make a copy, make a copy of the song, right? Record. So uh, this, this video is recorded, okay? This video is recorded. So that would be recorded, but this record, Okay, there are records in the Olympic Games. Records. We say record. She recorded a song. So over here is record. Um, Christina sings, but she records. Christina records Lady Marmalade. Okay, that would be the, the other one. Okay, and another word. Like this. This is pronounced laugh. Ha ha ha, right? Laugh. So we pronounce it like this laugh. Okay. With an S, laughs. Okay. Laughs. And similar or similar to this, we have the other word cough. Okay. Cough. The pronunciation is cough. Okay, this is um, okay, uh, an opportunity to teach you the pronunciations of both. Laugh, 
Laugh is ha 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 ha. Laugh, right? And cough, <coughs> cough. So, cough, laugh. Okay. And this, I'm going to put here a record, re, in the stress here. Sorry, I'm inventing a new language. Okay. Record. So, and this record, record. So, this is the verb. I'm going to put here verb. And this is a noun. So, I'm going to put here in for now. So, record is a verb, record is a noun, right? Laugh and laugh and cough. Cough, okay? Cough and laugh. Okay, very good. Now I need, uh, let me see, one, two, three, four people. Four people to read it again. I have uh, Paola Maria, Miledis, okay. Elise, no, Elsa Natalia. One more. Okay. One more. We have Paola. Paola reads the introduction. Miledis and Elsa will read the, the yellow one. And I have Jamilet. Thank you, Jamilet. Jamilet is going to read the closing. Jamilet read this. Okay. So, uh, Paola, the introduction, Miledis and Elsa. Okay, we'll do the other. Okay, let's begin. Thank you. Christina Aguilera, born December 18, 1980 in New York, USA. Scan the Arctic and look at the pictures in what year did age even take place. So far, she has multiple hit singles. She has fun of all age ar around the world. And many people say she's the best singer of her generation. She is Christina Aguilera. Here are some highlights of Christina's life and career. And career, mm -hmm. career. <clears throat> okay. Thank you, thank you very much. Now we have the two people. Me teacher. Yes, right, we had, uh, I had, let me see, Miledis and Elsa, right? Okay. First part, Elsa, the second part. In 1980, Christina is born on December 18 in New York. 1988, Christina first opens on television and starts search a television talent show. 1992, Christina is on TV and Disney new Mickey Mouse Club with Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake. In 1994, Christina record. Re record? Uh, record. <laughs> I'm sorry. Records All I Wanna Do with Keisu Nakanishi and Japanese pop star. She tours Japan. 1998, Christina sings a song for the Disney movie Mulan. Excellent. Thank you very much. Next. Um, na, 1999, Christina has her first big height journey in a bottle. Mm -hmm. 20. Oh, one. Oh, one. Uh -huh. 2001, along with other singer, Christina Re Records, Lady Mermaid for the movie Moulin Row. 
Moulin Rouge. Um, Moulin Rouge. Yes. Thank you, teacher. And 2002, Christina performs at the closing ceremonies for the Winter Olympic Olympic Games in South Salt Lake City. Salt Lake City. Um, Utah. 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 Uh -huh. Utah. Uh, 2004, Christina wins the best female pop vocal Grammy Grammy Award for Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Yes. First, she was the best female voice. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Now, Jamile, right? Overall, Christina Aguilera is thrilled by her success. It's been Quite a roller coaster ride. She love. No. Mm -hmm. I simply love my job. So do all Christina's fans. Excellent. Very good. Thank you very much. So uh, success, success, right? Success. Okay. Let's see. Over here, there was say like ages ages of all ages and um, i think that's it in career so we have some words that people confuse carrier career carrier career okay carrier and career teacher what's carrier DHL is a carrier, right? Maybe you remember, you know DHL, D, H, and L. DHL is a carrier. They bring uh, money, they bring packages, they bring letters, they bring, bring many things. So they are carriers. Now, or some other people say couriers too. Courier, right? It's a courier. And career, you study a career at the university, but not, on, not only that career is a career. Like if you are an actor, you have, uh, from the moment you begin acting, the, you appear in movies, you, your career begins. And if you are a singer, from the first composition that you have, that you sing in public to the rest, that would be your career, mm -hmm. a prolific career. Okay, excellent. So this would be about this multiple hit singles. Okay. Let me see. Um, about, I think that that is the ones that I think were the most difficult words for you. Female, female. We have male means man female means woman okay female okay a female actor will smith so no teacher male actor a male actor will smith a female actor or actress because in the united states they call them actors even though they are ladies so a female actress or a female actor is um, what? Name of one? And Scarlett Johansson. Angelina Jolie. Okay. Very good. You are in the move. Okay. Excellent. So <laughs> thrilled. She's excited by her success. She's thrilled by her success. Okay. And uh, I simply love my job, she says. Okay, very good. Now let's go over the answers. Read the article, then number these sentences from one, first event, to eight, last event. Okay, what is, what's the first event? That was another word that I wanted to help you with. She's born in New born York. In New Better York. Be. Excellent. 2000. The first event in people's so, life is being born, right? 
uh, event. And uh, even, this is pronounced even. 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 What's even? You say that when uh, you are taking revenge, someone hits you and you hit the person, then you are even. He hit you, but you hit him. So you are even. Like people say, we are tablas or we are, some people say, we are chelles. <laughs> okay, no, no problem because you hit me, I hit you. So we are even, okay, even. Also even means odd and even. What does it say, odd and even? Odd, one, what are the odd numbers? One, three, five, seven, nine. Those are odd numbers. Let's see, put them put him here, odd numbers. Odd numbers are one, three, five, seven, nine, etc. Even numbers, even numbers are two, four, six, eight, ten, etc. Those are even numbers. Okay. Even also means inclusive. Everybody can do it. Even me. Aun yo. <laughs> Even me, right? Everybody can do it. Even me. So, even. But event, event, an event is something that happened. Okay? An event is something that happened. For example, if it's a concert, that is an event, right? If you are born, that's an event. What's the first event in people's life? Be born, be born. Well, now teach. The first is conception. Ah, yes, it's true. You, the first is conception. You are in your mom's belly for nine months, and then you are born. Uh -huh. That's true. Okay, so this is number one. She was born in New York. What's number two? The G. She's on television for the first time. Excellent. She's on television for the first time. Number three? Letter F. H. Letter, Letter S. Or H. Letter H. What does she do before? Does she work with Britney or Disney. does she work in Disney, Disney movie? D. No, no, no. So D. D. She read Disney movie. Disney movie. Uh -huh. D. Yes, I'm D. thinking about the Disney clubhouse. Okay, but no, you're right. So, first, we have the movie, right? The Disney movie, Mulan. Then mm -hmm. she works with, here when he first, let me see, because this is what I was thinking about, Disney movie. No, but this Disney movie, this one. So, Britney Spears is before Disney movie. Uh -huh. So you are right. The, ne the, the next one is Britney Spears. So number three. And number four, What's number four? You travel around Japan. Uh-huh, travels around Japan. Yes, right. Uh-huh, then it's the Disney movie. So, four and uh, five. What is number five? Disney movie. Right. 
H. 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 The first hit. Yes, uh, big hit. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, uh -huh. number seven. No, six. Okay, what's number seven? Letter A. Letter A, right? Seven. Eight. The last one is easy. Number eight. What's mm -hmm. number eight? Letter, letter C. Excellent. Eight. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. You did a very good job. Okay. Yes, that's true. Very nice. Okay. So, number one, she's born in New York. Number two, she's on television for the first time. Number three, she works with Britney Spears. Number four, she travels around Japan. Number five, she records a song with, for a Disney movie. And number six, she has her first very successful song. Number seven, she sings at the Winter Olympic Games. And number eight, she wins a Grammy for Beautiful, okay? Wonderful, excellent. Now we have a question. What's your favorite singer? What's your favorite musician? Okay. Who is your favorite musician? Don Roberto, who's your favorite musician? Uh, my favorite musician is Silvio Rodriguez and Gustavo Cerati. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, yes, I think. I know Silvio Rodriguez. Yeah, he's a Cuban musician. Cerati, no. <laughs> it's a, Cerati is dead. He's dead, right? Yes. And I guess Silvio Rodriguez is dead too, right? Yes. Oh, yes. Yes, I guess he's dead too. Okay. Of the living people, who is your favorite singer? Oh, my favorite singer is, um, well, Silvia is, is, is it's still alive. Is alive, yes. Oh, I thought that he was dead. No, Serat is dead. Serat is dead. Uh -huh, okay. So, no younger people, right? Okay. Yeah, me neither. I like uh, songs before 2000. <laughs> okay. Ooh, many years ago. Okay. Other people. Let me see. Julissa, who is your favorite singer? My favorite singer is Shawn Mendes, but I like pop music. Oh, okay. Excellent. Very good. Shawn Mendes. I don't know. I don't know him or her. Okay because Sean can be for him or for her. Is it a boy? Him. Him. It's boy. It's, it's a boy. boy. Yeah, I don't know him now. Okay, nice. Thank you for sharing. Jamilet, who is your favorite singer? Um, my favorite singer is Selena Gomez. Selena Gomez, okay, yeah. Selenita is, I mean, a good singer. Okay, thank you. Thank you for sharing. Now, Rolando Rigoberto, who is your favorite singer? Uh, my my favorite, favorite singer is uh, Jose Luis Perales. Jose Luis Perales, okay. Agosto 21, and uh, what's the name of the Barco, Barco Libertad? No, something like that, right? Yes. Un velero. Un oh. velero llamado Libertad. Velero, ok. Yes. Very nice. ¿Y cómo es él? Ay, el comején también. <laughs> ¿Cómo es él? El comején, ok. El comején, no, right. Come ¿Y cómo es él? Ok, excelente. No, he is a very good singer, definitely, yes. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thanks. Thank you very much. Ok, let's see other people. Um, Stephanie Villafuerte, how are you? 
How are you? How are you doing? Fine. Uh, what's your? Who is your favorite singer? Uh, my favorite singer, Mark Anthony. Ah, uh, Mark Anthony. Mark Anthony. You like salsa, huh? <laughs> yes. Okay. So probably you like. Um, what's the name of this guy from Nicaragua? Like, uh, Like, uh, what? Another from another salsero? Um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, something. And the other is Jeff Rivera, right? Jerry Rivera and Juan Luis Guerra. So much say like. And the one, Willie Colon, is also salsa, right? Okay, very good, thank you for sharing. Let me see. Daniel, who is your favorite singer? Teacher, well, my favorite singer is Eros Ramazzotti. Eros Ramazzotti, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, sonrisa tan definitiva, yes, okay. Huh. Okay, excellent. Very good. Yes, he's a good singer, Eros Ramazzotti, okay, with a very peculiar style. Mm -hmm. Okay, who else do you like, Daniel? Uh, sorry? Who else do you like? What other, um... what, what other singer? Who is another singer that you like? Uh, well, I like salsa, so Jerry Rivera. Jerry Rivera, right? Uh -huh. Cara de Niño, uh -huh. okay. Yes, very good, okay. Thank you very much. Now let's move to the next one. Asking about families. Asking about families. The purpose is to describe uh, families, okay? What's your family like? Is it big or small? This family, is small, is composed by the father, the mother, the daughter, and a son, okay? The, the average person says, my family is very small. It is just my dad, my mom, my sister, and me, okay? Four people. It is just, my family is very small. It is just my dad, my mother, my sister and me, okay? Let's see. These are some, some words that describe family, boyfriend and girlfriend. That is the first thing. You see a girl, you like the girl, and then you uh, make passes at the girl, like you say piropos, right? You say, you make passes at the girl, and then you pin up means you, you start going out and then you are boyfriend, girlfriend, boyfriend, girlfriend. Then some time passes and there is a compromise. There is a compromise and uh, a promise to get married. And so you have fiance and fiancé. Fiancé is the man, fiancé is the woman, okay? La fiancé, they say, right? La fiancé, ah, la fiancé. Okay, so fiancé and fiancé. Then groom, when you are at the altar, at the altar, getting married, only for that period, for that time, for that event, when the lady is dressed in white and the man is dressed like a pinguinito, right? The man is the groom, the bride is Uh, the woman, so groom, the man, bride, the woman, okay? Then when the ceremony finishes and uh, the priest, the pastor, or any minister that is, uh, let's say, performing the ceremony, he says, now 
you can kiss the bride. It's not a bride. Husband and I can wife. Tell you husband and wife. Right now it's husband and wife. And wife. Husband and wife. Then maybe some years later, or I don't know if sometimes some years before. Yes. <laughs> years before. <laughs> okay. Five months. <laughs> maybe five months before, right? There is a baby. Okay, so he is the father and she is the mother. Mother. And mother. Okay. Then after this, okay. Uh, this generation continues so that the man becomes a grandfather and then he loses his hair and then he dies. Okay. But then the new generation, we have a son and a daughter. This is the new generation. And uh, the son, okay, is the brother of the daughter, right? And the daughter is the sister of the son. So son and daughter, brother and sister. Okay, so boyfriend, girlfriend, fiance, fiance, groom, bride, husband, wife, wife. Father, father, mother, mother, son, daughter, brother, sister. Okay, so these are some of the family members. Now let's move on. Over here, uh, we have a, the family. We have the grandfather, grandfather, the grandmother, grandfather, grandmother, grandson, granddaughter, grandson, granddaughter. Okay, then we have. Let's imagine that we pick up a, a boy. Okay, this is the one speaking. Let's say Vini. Vini Paciencia. No, it's Paciencia or something like that. So have like this, Vini. Vini is speaking. He is speaking. He says me. Okay. Now, Will is his uncle, right? Okay. The relationship between Vini and Will. Vinny is Will's nephew. Will is Vinny's uncle, okay? So uncle and nephew. Now over here, aunt, aunt and niece, right? Aunt, niece, okay? Niece, aunt. So we have niece and aunt. Cousin, okay. Vini is Marco's cousin. Mayra is Silvia's cousin. Cousin is for boys and for girls, okay. Cousin is for boys and for girls. So we have grandfather, grandmother, grandson, granddaughter, uncle, aunt, nephew, niece, and cousin. Okay, then. We have another family. Somebody told me the, fa the family Pegajosa, okay? So they wanted to say uh, the new family. So we say like this, stepfather and stepmother, okay? What is a stepfather? Let's imagine Will dies. Bye-bye Will dies. And Ceci, gets married again, says he finds another man. Let's say the next man is uh, Miguel, okay? So Miguel is Marco's stepfather, okay? He's not the real father. He's the substitute of the father. He's a stepfather, okay? Padrazo. Uh -huh, exactly. And, okay. and the other one is the stepmother, and madra, madrastra, right? So madras, madrastra, okay, the stepmother. And then the stepson and the stepdaughter. Stepson, stepdaughter. Okay, let's imagine that Miguel 
takes Marcos as his son, but in reality, he is a stepson, okay? No link of blood, right? So there is no bond, the bond or connection, no connect, no blood connection, okay? No blood connection. So stepson, stepdaughter, stepbrother, and stepsister. So hermano astro y hermana astra, okay? So stepbrother and stepsister. Okay, and uh, the other one is the other family, the political, people say political family, right? So father-in-law, mother-in-law, okay? It's like this. Let's say Maya is not Toño's daughter, okay? Maya is Ivan's wife. Ivan is Toño's son. Clara is Toño's, no, sorry. Clara is Ivan's mother. So Maya is Toño's daughter-in-law. Okay, Clara is Maya's mother-in-law. So the relationship is Maya is Clara's daughter-in-law. Clara is Maya's mother-in-law. Toño is Maya's father-in-law. Maya is Toño's daughter-in-law. Okay, now here is another thing. We have, uh, let's say, let me see if I find another one. Okay, not because he's a man too, right? But this one and this one. Irma is not Chon's uh, daughter or Chayo's daughter. No, he, okay, Mani is Chon's son. And Chayo, okay, Mani is Chayo's, Chayo's uh, son. So Irma is Chayo's daughter-in-law, okay? Yeah. Daughter-in-law. Daughter and uh, Irma is Chon's daughter-in-law. Now we say here, Irma and Sofia, they are, okay, Sofia is Irma's sister-in-law, right? Sofia is Irma's sister-in-law because Sofia is Manny's sister. Okay, over here, uh, let's say Ivan is Will's brother. So Ceci is Ivan's sister-in-law. Okay, but Will and Manny, so you say, Will is Manny's brother-in-law because Irma is Will's sister. So Will is Manny's brother-in-law, okay? That would be the other one, brother-in-law, sister-in-law, father-in-law, mother-in-law, son-in-law, daughter-in-law, brother-in-law, sister-in-law, okay? So that would be the family. Okay, uh, I will repeat the, the family again because we have, normally we say father, mother, son, daughter, brother, and sister. But we begin from before, boyfriend, girlfriend, fiance, fiance, groom, bride, husband, wife, father, mother, son, daughter, brother, sister. Grandfather, grandmother, grandson, granddaughter, uncle, aunt, nephew, niece, cousin, okay? Stepfather, stepmother, stepson, stepdaughter, stepbrother, stepsister, father-in-law, mother-in-law, son-in-law, daughter-in-law, brother-in-law, sister-in-law. Tomorrow, we're going to be describing the family. We're going to say, this is my grandfather. His name is Tonio. He's 72 years old and he's retired. He's married to Clara. Clara, okay, you say, this is my grandmother. Her name is Clara. She is 68 years old and she's retired too. Okay, 
uh, this is Vinny speaking. So you say, this is my father. His name is Ivan. He's 45 years old. He's a mechanic. And this is my mother. Her name is Maya. She's 42 years old and she's a secretary. Okay, so this is what we're going to be practicing tomorrow, right? Tonight, we're going to stop here, say, um, unfortunately, time has finished. We need to finish the class right now. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for attending. God bless you all, take care of yourselves. I will be seeing you tomorrow. Okay. Good night. 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 Good night.